So good afternoon, friends. Let us start our discussion for uh, practicals which you have to perform. So please make a note. You note down in your copy the first practical, first four practicals which you have to perform. They are the simulation practicals. So simulation. So you have to solve the particular problem analytically. as well as you have to simulate it in the softwares which we'll discuss uh, just after this and then you have to submit uh, you have to save it in a short link you can make a short link for that and you can submit all the four practicals okay so based on all this submission will be your marks so you are entire marks will be based on the submissions which you will be doing so be regular and punctual for submitting the things so first practical which you have to perform is determine the following uh, i have shared the screen uh, is the screen visible to everybody yes sir ha ah. yes sir so first experiment is determine the following using kvl kcl mode analysis and mesh analysis okay so first is current through various given branches voltage across the given branches and power absorbed or delivered by the given component analysis of simple dc circuit using all about techniques so till this is your first practical so what you have to do you have to verify kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff's current law mode analysis and mesh analysis so you have to solve you have to take four problems at least one for each one for kvl one for kcl one for mode analysis and one for mesh analysis for mesh analysis you can take more problems even all four types we have seen type 1 problem type 2 problem type 3 problem and type 4 problem in type 1 uh, independent voltage source and resistances are there in type 2 along with voltage source current source will be there but the current source will be outer side of the loop means it is current source is not common between any two branches so that is type 2 problem then type 3 problem is the network is containing dependent sources dependent sources may be dependent voltage source dependent current source it may be voltage dependent voltage source or current dependent voltage source or it may be voltage dependent current source or current dependent current source so out of these anything will be there so this is type 3 in type 4 current source is present independent current source but that current source is common between the two meshes so that is type 4 problem now there may be combination of type 2 or 3 problem maybe type 2 or 4 problem these problems are there so in theory lecture we'll see all these problems but in practical you have to solve at least one case for one time for mesh analysis so four problems on mesh analysis one problem on node analysis one for kvl and one for kcl so in all you have to solve four one five six and seven seven problems you can solve for this first assignment or first practical and in that case what is this given current through various branches or voltage across the branch or power absorbed so that is you can find current through any particular component or you can find drop across that particular component how to find drop across that component i into r current value you have found out so that current into the value of resistance will be voltage across that particular branch and if you want to find power absorbed then how to calculate power power is calculated as 
I square R. Current value you have already calculated, so you calculate I square R. So that will be power absorbed or delivered by that particular component. So these you can find out after you will find the value of current. So you simulate all these, and then for second practical, it will be determine the following using network theorems. So one problem statement on each theorem means you have to solve. We are having four theorems in our syllabus: Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, superposition theorem, and maximum power transfer theorem. So based on each uh, theorem, you have to solve one numerical. You solve it analytically, and then you have to simulate it. Again, you can find current through that component, voltage across component, or power absorbed or delivered by that component. So, four theorems, four problems in this second assignment. So, second practical and first practical, is it clear to you? And you have to take the problems which I have not solved in the class, or I have not given you the short link of which. okay because the problems which i have solved in the class for them i have created a short link i have developed the circuit in simulation circuit software applet and that link i have provided it to you so those problems you will not solve because they are already i have solved them and i have provided it to you so you have to solve new problems so that your practice of solving the problems will take place okay so for that purpose i have uh, kept this condition and one thing your problems should not be same okay so roll number 1 will not solve the same problem as roll number 2 or roll number 3 or roll number 4 so you try to solve different different problems okay that means the aim is not to copy so please don't copy if you are not understood anything you can clearly ask me directly ask me either in the class or you can um, drop me a message on the whatsapp group i'll repeat that or i can take extra class for those who have not understood the things okay is it clear the next third practical is yes carry out the transient analysis and determine the voltage or current expressions for the given network involving rl rc and rlc so this for rl rc and rlc i have already provided the videos to you in that this transient analysis is carried out the voltage and current expressions are calculated so that you can see you go through those videos and then try to implement try to simulate the circuits with the various values of r l and c you can assume the value of resistance inductance and capacitance and voltage even voltage source or current source you can assume the certain values and for those values whatever may be the response transient analysis you will get you have to draw that you have to simulate that and after simulation you send the link to me and again you have to solve the same problem analytically you have to solve the problem analytically and try to verify it with the software simulation software and last fourth practical is determine z y h and a b c d parameters for given networks so two networks i have given to you one is t network and another is pi network for this t and pi network you have to find z parameter y parameter h parameter and a b c d parameters so for all these parameters how to calculate those parameters 
the videos i have already provided it to you so you can go through those videos and in all these parameters there is nothing special either you have to calculate short circuit voltage or current or open circuit voltage or current so for all the parameters you will either have to short circuit the output side and measure it at input side and output side what is v1 i1 v2 i2 so all these parameters you have to measure by shorting either output side or input side or opening opening uh, keep open open circuited output or input so depending on the definitions you can find out the value of z11 z12 z21 and z22 similarly y11 y12 y21 and y22 similarly h and abcd so all these parameters you can find out so please note this circuit diagram it is a t network having 20 ohm resistance and 30 ohm resistance at the top side and on the uh, bottom arm there is 40 ohm resistance you can change the resistances values and you can simulate that is not a issue so for every experiment you can change the values or rather i'll expect that every roll number will assume his or her own values of resistances and voltages and currents okay but the network will be similar it is t network so t of a resistance so one resistance over here another resistance over here and third resistance is here so it is forming a t english letter t and next is this pi so this pi network is here is one resistance and here are the two resistances so i have given you one resistance value as 5 ohm here it has 20 ohm and here it has 15 ohm so 5 20 and 15 ohm this is for just a example you can take any values of voltage current if required and the values of resistances you change all the values and find out all the parameters z y h and a b c d here also in this experiment also you have to calculate it analytically the method which is explained in that video either you calculate it by that method or any of the method which you will find easy to calculate so calculate it analytically and you have to verify it using this simulation so understood all this yes yes sir ha ah, so i have stop sharing that screen now i will share another screen and uh, we'll see the simulation softwares both the softwares which i have already told you one is tinker cad and another is our falstad so in falstad.com/circuit so is it visible on your screen yes sir ha so in this first what you have to do i'll just repeat it because i am recording this for uh, benefit of those who cannot um, cannot get the link right now they can uh, observe it later on also okay so what you have to do first in circuits you have to find a blank circuit so a blank screen will be available on your screen and on this blank screen now you can draw draw go in draw then you can add resistor going in this you can add resistor like this like this or like this 
you can go on adding n number of resistances if you want to change its value of any component double click on that the window will appear where you can change the value of that particular component so since this is a resistance you can change its value you can keep it as any value which you want if you want it at 100 ohms i'll make it as 100 apply and okay so 100 will appear over here if you want to change this let us say in kilo ohms say 100 kilo ohms then you write 100k then apply and okay so it will be 100 kilo ohms resistance so you can add resistance by drawing go in draw add resistor so you will, you can add resistance if you want to make wire connections go in this draw add wire so that after adding wire you can go on adding wire you can draw wire like this you can draw it like this like this any shape of this wire any type of connection which you want you can go you can stop there you can go further you can stop you can start here you can move further you can stop you can join this terminal then you can start it again from this you can move here you can join this terminal then you can move here you can go like this you can draw wires then if you want to add passive components in it so passive components means if you want to add a capacitor inductor add switch push switch spdt switch so these switches you will require in transient analysis single pole double throw or push switch then potentiometer if you want transformer if you want relay if you want you can add these passive components from this link if you want to add inputs and sources you go in this you can add a ground you can add a um, uh, voltage source two terminal you can add ac voltage source two terminal one one, uh, one terminal voltage source ac voltage source one terminal square wave on uh, source that is your uh, function generator you can add a clock sweep and so on am source fm source current source if you want to add current source you can go here i'll click this and you can add here current source so you can draw current source like this or like this you can double click on that if you want to change its value to change it if you want it as 5 ampere make it 5 apply and okay so it will become a 5 ampere current source if you want to change this as let us say 10 ampere source or in milli ampere also you can write 10 ampere source then this will be a 10 ampere source okay if you want to add let us say voltage sources because these sources you will require that's why i am drawing this if if you want is a voltage source dc voltage source two terminal you can draw it like this can take it it will be having negative and positive polarity if you will take it like this it will be positive and negative polarity if you want to change this voltage again double click on this this is a 5 volt you can change it to any voltage if you want to make it as 25 volts right here 25 it is wave form dc voltage offset is zero then apply and okay so this will become a 25 volt source now there is no caption over here so voltage is not displayed on this so if you want to display this 25 volts you uh, keep it on the uh, keep the cursor on that component you will find that here the voltage reading is there okay so the voltage reading is 25 volt but if you want to write it here in the diagram then what you have to do you have to add labels so here outputs and labels you go in this and you will find here add a text so go in this you can add here a text 
hello world will appear you double click on this so that you can instead of this hello world you can replace it as 25 volt so that apply and okay so it will be there okay so 25 volt is displayed if you want to change voltage of this again double click on that you can change the voltage any voltage you can keep 100 volts if you want you write it 100 apply and okay so that it will be 100 volts supply if you want to display it like this you can copy this link write it here again change that or you can add label drawing it from inputs and labels okay uh, sorry outputs and labels then if you want to measure current or voltage if you want to measure voltage you have to add voltmeter across that particular uh, component so here you can take add voltmeter if you want to measure voltage across this resistance say so i'll draw it here so positive of this terminal uh, uh, voltmeter is at upper side and negative on lower side then you have to join this using add wire so draw wires in such a way that it will be connected across this particular resistance so that the voltage reading across this resistance will appear across this particular voltmeter if you want to draw ammeter if you want to measure current through any component then go in outputs and labels here is add ammeter so you add one ammeter you can add it anywhere if you want it to add in this loop you add it here if you want to add it here you can add it here now i'll delete this particular link and then i'll insert it here i'll insert this and to skip first escape and then i'll move this component here then i have to make connection of this i have made it connection here so this current source i have to insert it here let us say so i'll delete this link and i'll insert this current source here and here if red dot is occurring that means some wrong connection is there and you will find the message at the bottom here one bad connection so one bad connection means at one point i have missed the connection and it is indicated by this red dot so if red dot is there you find that and make the connection now that bad connection it has removed from this particular point okay that means i have connect, connected or i have made all the good connections here okay so i hope um, we have completed all these outputs and labels i have one more active components you will uh, uh, not active components active building blocks you will require that is the dependent sources if you want to build dependent voltage source it may be voltage controlled voltage source or current controlled voltage source or it may be voltage controlled voltage source or current controlled current source that is the dependent sources so if you want to make connections of dependent sources go in this active building blocks in active building blocks you will find all these add voltage controlled voltage source add voltage controlled current source add current controlled voltage source and add current controlled current source so you can take click on any one of this and you will find that it is appearing over here now this is the these two terminals are the particular points where you have to take the sample that means if it is voltage dependent voltage source then this a and b will be the points from where you will take the sample of voltage okay it may be v1 v2 so these connections you have to do if it is current controlled 
then you have to make this in series so this should be series connection so that current will flow through this ab terminal so whatever may be the controlling parameter that will be applied to this a and b terminal and in your diamond shape that diamond shape will be here v plus and v minus so v plus indicates your this is a voltage source so positive of this voltage source you will connect it to this and negative of voltage source you will connect to this is it clear so i hope we have completed it for our purpose so for all the practicals first four practicals you will require this much only and uh, for second you will require the switches so that you can uh, take it from this push switch or spdt dpdt like this so it is a single pole double throw single pole single throw like this so this switch position you can change right like this at t equal to 0 it is at this particular position at t equal to 0 it is at t equal to so let us say 0 we have changed it or at t is equal to infinite we have changed this switch so for this purpose such switch will be required so i hope we have completed almost all the parameters which we require all the elements or components we require for building our circuits so in falstart.com/circuit we have completed it now in a quick time we'll go to this tinker cad so it is autodesk tinker cad so you can write uh, is it visible to you tinker cad yes sir tinker cad dashboard so autodesk tinker cad is there so 3d design circuits then code books lessons so we are interested in circuits so go on circuits if you will go on circuits it will give me create new circuit so i'll have to start with create new circuit and if i have created it earlier those will be available in my this window so here will be n number of circuits if you will create it it they will be available all the time once you will create it it will be available for life long in your login so you have to login first in this autodesk tinker cad you can login with uh, your uh, google login gmail login and then uh, you have to enter in that i have entered it through my login so uh, it is seen that pradeep patel so this is my login so you have to create your own login it is free of cost so you create it for you and go on create new circuit so if you will go on create new circuit one blank screen will be available to you and on that on right side all the components are there you can pull this components register if you want you can take it you bring it here then automatically what name you have to write you can write here let us say it is r1 resistance what is the value of resistance you want let us say it is 5 ohms uh, it is kilo ohms it is showing huh? so you have to change it to ohm you can take it as milli ohm micro ohm and all so all the values mega ohm giga ohm all values are available you select particular value and leave it so automatically the core will be available color code will be available if you want to check its value you can check it again okay if you want to rotate this particular component on this side uh, extreme left side where the tinker cad is written here is the rotate option can you see this rotate option yes yes sir uh, so you click on that click on that click on that so as you will be going on clicking on that 
this component will rotate so you can keep it as you want you can rotate it okay then one facility is there if you want to search any component in this you can go in search if you want a voltage source you write here voltage source so this voltage source immediately voltage 9 volt battery is there so you can name it you can change the voltage if you want if you want a voltage source as that of in uh, laboratory that also is available you write here power supply so you will get a variable supply power supply so power supply you will get this is power supply which we are using in laboratory okay voltage you can adjust current you can adjust and name you can write so here you can take any variable voltage let us say 13 volt so 13 volt voltage will be there okay so these are the two terminals one is positive if you will go on this it will be a positive terminal if you will go on this it is displaying negative terminal so positive and negative and for drawing wires you can simply take from that particular terminal and you can move no need to take any wire from anywhere and you can go to that particular terminal and you have to end it finish it if you want to change color of that wire you can change it to any one black red orange yellow green any let us say blue so it will be blue wire if you want you can start from this terminal you can take a wire you can draw it like this like this any type if you are taking like this over crossing over there is no connection if you want to connect it you have to make the connection otherwise this cross wire will not have any connection so i have to leave it here so these points are the points where i can make connection of any wire so i can make connection from this if if you want but it is same so if you want any other wire to connect it over here you have to connect it over here this points okay then you can change color of this also to any one or and say like this then you can take meters voltmeter ammeter whatever you want you can take from this so you can write ammeter ammeter this current meter it may be uh, i have to find the list again then battery if you want breadboard breadboard is also there you can take this breadboard here breadboard is there and you can make connections and so on and so forth so i hope you say this multimeter is there so you can take multimeter on this multimeter you can change the mode if you want to measure voltage voltmeter if you want to make use of it so keep it here voltage if you want to measure current you can write here amperage so that now it will function as ammeter and here you can see it has moved to a so it is ammeter working as ammeter then if i will keep it as voltage this dot has circle uh, shifted to this point so it is acting as voltmeter if i want to measure resistance i'll make it as resistance meter so this is a ohm meter now so you can connect this power supply meter resistances that's all again dependent sources 
so dependent sources are also present you can go in that search and find out the dependent sources independent sources i have shown and you can simulate either in this platform tinkercad.com or that circuit simulator applet which falstad.com so you can simulate in any of these two and find out is it okay yes yes sir ah so if any difficulty or doubt is there you can ask me directly and uh, if not uh, what should be the last date for submission how much time you will take yes i am recording the session i'll stop it first